Yo everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my very late February favourites. Uh, yeah, I just didn't have time last weekend. So please excuse me, but they are still, the month is still like in single digits. So hopefully I can get away with it just about. Right, so quite a lot of favourites to get through this month. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I do regular face of the days. I literally just posted this one that I'm doing now onto my Instagram page. Here it is. Hey, ice cream shell. Okay, so a lot of the time, even though I'm posting things with my makeup, whatever on there, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a favourite. It means it's something new that I'm trying out. Oh my God, my hair is such a mess. I haven't styled it. I just blow dried it. It looks like a lion. Um, but yes, so a couple of these things you may or may not be aware that I do use them. Sometimes I mention them, sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. It was in my January favourites. And again, it has to be said that it has been a favourite for February as well. It's just got the most perfect range of chocolate neutral brown shades. And I love it for the same reason that I loved it last month. Um, The next thing is or I'd have to say is my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit now the past couple of tutorials that I've done because I'm quite new to tutorials still I never really used to do them only because you guys said you wanted me to so I thought I'd give it a go um but I have used this in pretty much all of them and I use it every single day and I have done since I bought it it comes with six shades all together three contouring shades three highlighting shades and if you want to see my review on it I will link it below but yep definitely a favourite and will probably be a favourite for next month as well even though I don't necessarily mention it. From Anastasia Beverly Hills again is the Dip Brow Pomade which looks like this. It's for your eyebrows so it's basically like a kind of gel textury type of eye brow product and I'm using it today and I've been using it every day since and I absolutely love it. I did the review with the last thing that I showed you, the contour kit. So again, look at it below along with the brush that came with it or that I had to buy with it as well. Another thing that I'm loving, which I bought a couple of months ago and I didn't really give it much of a chance, is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This colour is in... Uh, Hmm. It does not say, unfortunately. It's um, part of the yellow range. Anyway, I initially thought this was quite light and I wasn't a fan of it. But I've been using it and I gave it another chance. And I really have to say I'm really loving it. I already love the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. My colour is in 220. And I don't know why I didn't love this to begin with. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's quite thick and creamy, but using my beauty blender, I can blend it in really nicely and it stays on all day. And it doesn't really sit in the lines, which I really like about it. It doesn't take long for it to set and it gives a really nice, like soft, flawless finish. So a definite favorite for this month. Two things from Sleek is their latest collection called the Garden of Eden. Uh, I think that's what it was called. Anyway, well, here's the Eye Divine eyeshadow palette. I've used it a couple of times, not loads, but I do have to say it is a favourite because... Oh, actually, I have used it quite a few times. I've forgotten. I think I bought it at the end of January, so I didn't really get a chance to review it for my January favourites because I didn't have it for long enough. So it looks like this. A whole load of different types of green shades, and above is a bunch of brown, neutral, and kind of lightish, pinky, mauve shades. So it really, really works well with all skin tones. Uh, a couple of the shades are a little bit powdery, but generally I think it's really great. Two of the Sleek Blush by Threes, which is a blush palette which has three blushes in it, basically. It's more kind of cost-effective, and plus Sleek blushes are awesome. Um, I really liked this one, which is the Pink Lemonade. More so than the California IA one, but definitely this one. It's got a whole load of muted pink rosy shades. This middle one is a cream blusher. I'm not a big fan of cream blushes, so I don't really use it that much. 
but these two most definitely really really good value for money as well something that i got free with the naked three palette by urban decay was this set of their eyeshadow primers so it's all of the eyeshadow primers they have so the original eden which is the nude matte one sin which is a shimmery one and the newish anti-aging one now i'll be honest with you i've only ever tried the original i bought the anti-aging one a month ago and i've still not opened it because my last eyeshadow primer which was the Too Faced shadow insurance lasted me so long i never got round to it anyway they sent this to me free like as a sample and oh my god i can't believe that i never bought eden and sin before i mean eden is such a perfect nude really match like kind of covering that it gives the eye so when you want like matte looks and you don't want the primer interfering with it you want the primer to kind of emphasize the matteness or whatever it is this one is absolutely awesome plus because it's nude it mutes out the eye completely covers any redness any discoloration and the skin from showing through as well and the same with Sin. Sin is such an awesome, like, shimmery primer. So anytime that I've wanted to do, like, a kind of shimmery eye look, not even shimmery, like I'm using a frost shade or a metallic shade, this one just emphasizes it. And again, it's amazing. And since I've started using this as well, I tend not to use a highlight because I cover my entire lid with this one, uh, which is Sin. It goes all the way to the top. So there's no need for a highlight because you've got a nice, like, kind of very delicate shimmery highlight. Two things that I got recently are the Too Faced La Creme Lip Creams. If you have followed me for long or been a subscriber for long, you'll know how much I love these. I've got like another five somewhere else. These ones came out in the spring collection last year, but I kind of only got around to buying them now. Um, this one is called Bon Bon, which is like a really bright coral colour. There you go. Plus, these lipsticks are really, really creamy. They're very pigmented. They remind me of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. So, again, awesome. And then this one is called Pink Chocolate, which is like a mauvey brown shade. And it just comes out like, it's almost like a mauvey brown, darkish berry colour. Really, really love it. Been loving this this month loads. Okay, so Hourglass cos Cosmetics. I've never actually bought anything of theirs before. I'm still waiting for my ambient powder to come through from Space NK for like a month after ordering it. But they recently released their ambient lighting blushes. And because of the fact that the ambient lighting powders are like so amazing, obviously it was expected that these would be two. So this one that I got is in Radiant Magenta. And it's just a really nice pinkish very pale-ish pink shade but it's very pigmented when you apply it when you pack it on with a brush they are quite powdery that's the only thing I would say but they're meant to give like that kind of glow from within very subtle very fine very diffused and very like finely milled powders so they are not cheap but there's a reason for it I mean even the packaging is amazing with the mirror and everything and then this one is called diffused heat you can see they've got the really nice like veining in it as well to give like an extra light shimmer but nothing like too much so this one you know what it's better if you look at it on here you can't really see it that well on my camera this one is more of like a reddish coral shade so again loving it loving it is max night moth oh my god where have i been why have i never bought this before i don't know why i never ever bought it really i mean i just think i never got round to it such an amazing dark wine shade if you can see it there transforms a lipstick look completely so i'm really really happy that i got that so something else that i got i probably a couple of weeks ago now um I just hadn't had a chance to get around to using it and I think I got them at the end of January was the Makeup Geek eyeshadows ignore the top I think this looks like bubbles don't you think it looks really cool um these are all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows I got I cannot recommend them highly enough I mean I did get whacked with a bloody Royal Mail customs charge or something but it was so worth it they are so creamy so pigmented they're just beautiful, beautiful shades. I mean, Beaches and Cream. All the ones that you see Makeup Geek, Marlena from Makeup Geek using in her videos. The two lipsticks that I got. One of them was the Aviva Glam Rihanna lipstick, which I'm sure loads of people have already heard about, seen, bought. It's a frost red shade, basically, and it's a stunning, stunning red. 
I'm not normally a fan of frost lipsticks. I have a few, but this one doesn't seem to be like those. This one seems to be like nicer and not so gritty. Another one that I got recently was Ampli Chatterbox, which is an amplified. It's like a nice, not a candy pink shade. It's like a very soft candy pink shade. So one which who somebody who wants like a nice pink color, but doesn't want it to be too in their face. Last but not least is four lipsticks. These are all from Maybelline and it was from like some nude collection, something, some nude range that they've just released. Anyway, um, I've been wearing all of these loads. This one, which is called Naked Brown, which is like an amazing dark brown shade, basically. And it's a super dark, super, super dark. It's almost got a hint of purple to it as well. So that gives it a really nice kind of extra oomph to the lips. Proper makes your lips stand out because they're really glossy as well, as you can see. And this one is called Coffee Craze. And it looks like that. A really nice beige neutral shade. The next one, Tantalizing Taupe, which is probably my favourite of the lot of them. This one has got more of a pink undertone to it than the coffee craze one next to it. Finally, Honey Beige. They all look really similar on camera, but I'm hoping that when you see the swatches, you can see how different they are. This one is definitely more of a caramel sort of shade. So you can see the three of those more lighter shades and how they differentiate between each other. So I hope that you enjoyed my favorites for February. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for my regular face of the days and little hauls that I do and that sort of thing. And please feel free to comment and like the video if you did like it. And I will see you all soon in my next video, which is going to be a haul video. Bye!